Hi right, folks, hope you're doing well. Um, okay, I did a video about um, Alex Ferguson last night, so yeah, I'm going to do one about the Premiership now because yeah, I do believe that we are probably in the most interesting season that we've had for a very long time. Well, the last season like this was really when Man United won the Premier League for the last time, when Ferguson retired. Because in that season, you had Man City were really poor. Um, Chelsea were really poor. Liverpool were really poor. Spurs were really poor. Arsenal were really poor. That left only Man United. If Man United were going to be reasonably consistent, then they were going to win it, and they did. Even though that was one of the worst Man United squads, certainly one of the worst Man United first 11s that has ever won a Premier League. But they won because... Yeah, all the other top teams just weren't there. And right now, we have the same. We have Arsenal, who are, I think, eight or nine points clear. Um, and, yeah, it's it's getting interesting now. Because, you know, nobody would have imagined that Arsenal would be winning the league this soon with Arteta as manager. It was only a few years ago, a lot of the fans were screaming that Arteta should be sacked. And... <laughs> The way things turn around. Right? So, yeah. Well, I said that about Fergie. Yeah, Fergie could have been sacked if he had been there, if he had arrived a few years earlier, he probably wouldn't have made it. Yeah, so it's wondrous to look at all things like that. But, yeah. So, let's see what happens because Arsenal is still going to play Man City twice. And I've got to play Man United again and probably got to play Liverpool again. And maybe uh, Chelsea. Um, so they've got some tough games. And like Man United, Arsenal are quite thin with regards to their squad and their quality in their squad. And so, yeah. That's why Arsenal are desperately trying to bring players in. Desperately trying to bring players in right now because they know that an injury to a couple of players and their season is over. They know that. And then you've got the bottom of the league. <laughs> and you've got a lot of teams at the bottom who are in serious danger right now. Well, you've got West Ham in the bottom three, Everton in the bottom three. You've got Leeds and Leicester just outside the bottom three. Yeah. Yeah, Leeds and Leicester are two points above relegation zone. That's going to be fascinating because obviously... You've got um, David Moyes in charge of West Ham. I think they should have enough. But you would imagine. So they were, what, fifth last season or season before? You know, they were in the top six or seven. Yet now they're in the relegation zone. So, you know, things have really crashed for them. Same as Everton, really. Everton were doing reasonably well. And it looked reasonably good under Lampard. And then suddenly, boom, but they've had a lot of injuries. So if their injured players come back, then I think they're going to get themselves out of that. I think West Ham will get themselves out of it. But who's going to go down? There's still so much football to be played. Normally at this time of the year, there's not that much to be played because, yeah, we're over halfway. We're only just halfway now. Well, I think for a lot of teams, they're not even halfway. We're in the Premier League, 19 games is halfway because they play 38, don't they? Yeah. So... Arsenal, Man City and Man United have only played 18. So there's a lot of football still to be played. That's the point. Leeds have only played 18, whereas Leicester and Wolves... Oh, Wolves also is on 17. Yeah. Not in the Forest are just above on 20, but that's three points above. So you've got Crystal Palace on 22. So I'd say, really, you have to look from Aston Villa down... Any of those teams could go down. Any of them. I think Brentford will probably be safe because they're eighth with 29. Although you would have to say probably with the quality that Brentford have, they shouldn't be safe, but I think they will be. Brighton on 30, they've only played 18 as well, so I think they'll be safe. Fulham on, Fulham on 31, so I think they'll be safe. They're in sixth right now. So I don't think that those three teams, Brentford... Brighton and Fulham will slip that much. I think they're going to slip a bit because I think it's likely Chelsea and Liverpool will go above them. 
And it's likely Aston Villa will probably go above them because Aston Villa are on 25. But yeah, I'd certainly say from Villa down, yeah. Because even 25 is only 10 points above relegation. 10 points above relegation at halfway through is not safe. So it's going to be a very interesting season. Because you've got to say any of the top four could win it. Could win it. Are they going to? Uh, it all depends on injuries, doesn't it, really? It all depends on injuries and... Yeah. Because I, I think Arsenal have, have got a good enough team to be able to get a result, at least a point against Man City in both games. So two points there. Okay. They, they would therefore lose four. But that's not too bad. They certainly won't lose ground on City. And whether Man United come out of the challenge, I don't know. Um, so Arsenal should be favourites right now. But again, injuries. It really is injuries. Yeah, that's going to be the key, really. Um, so, yeah. Well, and yeah, the cards, because, yeah, they're even looking at the point of Man United playing Crystal Palace next on Wednesday, then playing Arsenal, I think, probably Sunday. Um, but if Casemiro gets a yellow card against Crystal Palace, then he's banned for the Arsenal game. So, yeah, even things like cards are going to come into it. It's going to be a, a very, very interesting season this season there. We're obviously mucked up a little bit by the World Cup, but still, I don't think that's the excuse because Liverpool and Man City were quite poor before that as well. They haven't suddenly become poor afterwards, same as Chelsea. You know, Chelsea were really poor before that and they haven't suddenly become poor after it. So I don't think what we see now is a result of the World Cup. I think, yeah, even that result could come later. Because, you know, the amount of games... And it really does depend on how far teams go in the Champions League and Europa. Because, like, when Man United have got Barcelona, yeah, it'd be better for Man United to lose against Barcelona. To get knocked out of that. Because they're still in the FA Cup, they're still in the Carabao Cup, and they're in the fight for the league. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah they need to get knocked out of that one, really. Because that's Thursday night football. They don't really want that. That's not good. So, yeah. So, it is something to look forward to. Well, in previous years, I've not really wanted to watch a lot of football because it's been quite dull. You've had Man City going to win it. We know that. Um, and, yeah, be out, out of Man City or Liverpool, probably Man City are going to win it. And then who's going to be third or fourth, really? Uh, that's not that interesting. And as a Man United fan, Man United weren't really in the running for even third or fourth. So it's quite boring. This year, a bit more interesting. So, yeah. So there you go. You take care. God bless. Speak to you soon. Bye-bye. Have a good one.